Welcome to the history of Shawn Michaels action figures. A huge thank you must go out to Mr. Cagtelly of NLW for the share on the last video of this series. Not only did it give that video a boost, but it also gave me a small bump in subscribers. We've been strong supporters of each other for a while now, and I would love to collab some more in the future. But with that out of the way, as I said, today we are looking at the history of Shawn Michaels action figures, and if this is your first time viewing this series, this is where we look at the action figure incarnations of a specific wrestling character from the first to the most recent. As always, I'm sure there will be a few I miss, and possibly some years wrong also, so feel free to share any I miss in the comments. Shawn Michaels, as one of the biggest wrestling stars of all time, and arguably the best in-ring competitor of all time, has had a hell of a lot of figures, by far the most of any of the wrestlers we've looked at so far. His first action figure came in 1986, a time where Shawn Michaels arrived in the AWA alongside longtime partner and rival Marty Jannetty. This figure was an AWA figure as part of the Series 4 Matt Mania. As I'm sure you can tell, there's not a lot going on here, it's 1986 at the end of the day, this would be the first and only non-WWE action figure Michaels would ever receive. Michaels debuted in the then WWF in 1988 alongside Marty Jannetty, but wouldn't receive an action figure until 1991, a time where Hasbro were producing the WWF figures. Michaels was first in the Tag Team Series 2 line, and as the line name suggests, he was alongside his Rockers partner. Michael's next figure would come in 1993 as he started becoming one of wrestling's biggest names. He would get a singles figure in Hasbro Series 7. He would only get a further two Hasbro figures, both in 1994 and both in Series 10, the second of which I'm pretty sure is a re-release of his Series 7 figure. Also in 1994, Just Toys would release a ring playset, which came with a Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels Bendham figure. In 1996, Jax would start producing WWF figures, and Michaels would get four figures from them this year, first in WWF Superstar Series 1, then Series 2, then Series 3, and finally in a box set alongside Goldust, Ultimate Warrior, and Bret Hart. He would also get a Just Toys Bendham in 1996 as part of Series 3. In 1997, Michaels would only get one Superstars figure as part of the Best of 97 series, he would also get two minifigures as part of the Ringmaster series and a Wrestlemania ring box set. These appear to both be called minis, but don't look like the same line to me. Finally for 1997, Michaels would be in a Fun Wrestlers 2 pack alongside The Undertaker. On to 1998 now, and Michaels would get a boatload of figures. He would be in the Best of 98 series 1, Livewire series 2, a Slammer series 2, and WWF Signature series 2. He would also be in Grudge Match Series 1 alongside Stone Cold, and Series 2 alongside Triple H. As well as these, he would be in Shotgun Saturday Night Series 1 along with Kane, Stone Cold and Rocky Maivia, as well as Series 2 as a solo figure. Michaels would also be part of DTA Tour 1, Ripped and Ruthless Series 2, and 3 WrestleMania 14 figures, a solo one, a 3 pack with Triple H and Thrasher, then finally, a 4-pack with Triple H, Stone Cold and The Undertaker. Finally for 98, Michaels got a bone-crunching buddies figure, which isn't really a figure, but it's worth mentioning as they are classic. Michaels would have his initial retirement in 1998 due to building injuries, so in the following years, his figure slowed down. Only two figures for Michaels in 1999, he would get a Commissioner Michaels figure as part of the Superstar Series 8, then a Maximum Sweat Series 1 figure, which is still one of the weirdest toy gimmicks I have ever seen. Who wants their action figure to sweat? It appears Michaels only received one figure in 2000, a WWF Backlash Superstar Series 1 figure, then apparently nothing until 2003, where he would receive his first Ruthless Aggression style figure, he was part of Adrenaline Series 1 with RVD, Series 3 with Chris Jericho, he was also in Ruthless Aggression Series 5, Bring the Noise, and Raw 10th Anniversary lines. 
In 2004, Michaels would get two classic Superstars figures in two pack Series 1 as part of the Rockers, then in single Series 1. Two more classic Superstars figures came in 2005. Michaels was in a three pack series with The Rock and Bret Hart, and then single Series 6, a figure which I had but broke and used the head for my crappy Kenny Omega custom. Still upset about that to this day. Michaels would also get a WWE pay-per-view series 8 New Year's Revolution figure, sporting referee gear, and two Ruthless Aggression figures in series 16.5 and series 17.5. Finally for 2005, Michaels received a Ring Giants figure in series 3. On to 2006 now, and another big year for Michaels figures, he would get a Ruthless Aggression series figure in series 18, series 22.5 and a best of 2006 series. He would also be in an Adrenaline Series 20 along with Trish Stratus. Backlash Series 9 which is the first Titantron lifestyle figure I can see for him and get his first Deluxe figure in Deluxe Aggression Series 3. He would also get a Havoc Unleashed figure in Series 2 which was a 5 articulation points figure as well as 2 off the ropes figures in Series 10 and 11. He would also get a pay-per-view series 13 backlash figure and a Royal Rumble 2006 figure, which I can't find much about but I think it's the one on this bagging card. On top of these, Michaels would get two ringside exclusives, both as classic Superstars 2 packs, first with Bret Hart, then with Kevin Nash. He would also get a Treacherous Trios series 5 figure along with Triple H and Jonathan Coachman. His last Ruthless Aggression style figures in 2006 would both be in the WrestleMania 22 series, first as himself, then dressed as Hulk Hogan. Lastly, he would get two Ring Giants figures in Series 8, which I used to have and I do miss it greatly, and Series 9. In 2007, Michaels had even more figures than in 2006. He received three classic Superstars figures, first as a Deluxe Series 2 figure, then Series 15 and Series 16 as an LJN style figure. He would also get another Adrenaline figure alongside Triple H in Series 24 and another Backlash figure in Series 10. Michaels received a further 4 Deluxe figures as part of a 2 pack series with Triple H, 3 pack Series 2 along with Triple H and Big Show, single Series 10 and Series 12. Some of the more odd ones returned with a Flexum Series 14 figure. Then he also got three Ruthless Aggression figures in Series 25, Series 29, and the Best of 2007 series. He would also be part of the Royal Rumble 2007 series and a WrestleMania 23 series. Finally for 2007, Michaels would get eight Microaggression figures. He was in 10 packs Set 1 and Set 2, the Battle Arena and Cell Play sets, as well as Series 1 with Triple H and John Cena. Series 2 with Triple H and Randy Orton, Series 3 with CM Punk and Tommy Dreamer, and finally Series 5 with Jeff Hardy and John Cena. Thankfully for my brain and my voice, the figure slowed down in 2008, but Michael still received two classic Superstars figures in the Best of Series and Deluxe Series 4. As well as this, he would get two more Deluxe Aggression figures in 3-pack Series 4 with John Cena and Edge, and also Best of 2008. On top of these, he would get one more Ruthless Aggression figure, also in the Best of 2008 series. Lastly, he'd get a Microaggression figure in Series 9 alongside John Cena and Mr. Kennedy. On to 2009 and the final year of Jack's WWE figures. A sad time, really. Michaels would get a final Adrenaline Series 39 figure, along with The Undertaker. A final Backlash figure in Series 15 a final microaggression figure in the Series 13 with CM Punk and Chris Jericho, and a final Ruthless Aggression figure in Series 42, which was also just a solo version of the Adrenaline one. He would also get two more classic Superstars figures in Deluxe Series 7 and Series 28. Lastly, he got a pay-per-view Series 21 No Way Out figure. As we enter 2010, we all know that Mattel would take over from Jax as the producers of WWE action figures, and it wouldn't take long for Michaels to get his first Mattel. He would get a Defining Moments figure, an Entrance Greats 2010 figure, a Basic Series 4 figure, an Elite Series 3 figure, as well as two Battle Packs figures in Series 1 with Chris Jericho, and Series 5 as part of DX. Lastly, he would get a Rumblish 2-pack with Triple H. 
In 2011, Michaels would get a Basic Series 14 Royal Rumble figure, and Elite figures in Series 7 and as a Ringside exclusive. Only one figure in 2012, that being a 2011 pay-per-view series elite figure, the Special Referee Elite. In 2013, Michaels got a Basic in Series 26 and an Elite in Series 19, currently my only Michaels figure. In 2014, Michaels would get a SummerSlam Heritage Basic and a WrestleMania 30 Elite, which had a Hairy Belly variant. Michaels received a Network Spotlight Elite in 2015, as well as a Series 33 Battle Pack, along with The Undertaker. A further two Elites came in 2016, a Walgreens exclusive 2005 DX figure, and a Lost Legends figure which I believe is a re-release of the Elite Series 19 figure. He would also receive a WrestleMania 33 Elite in either 2016 or 2017, I couldn't find out which. In 2017, Michaels received a figure in Battle Pack Series 48 along with Diesel and an Elite Flashback figure, which is probably my most wanted Michaels figure. Another Elite would come in 2018 in the Retrofest series. He would also get a Funko Pop figure this year. On to 2019, and Sean got a Basic in Series 100, which there was also a variant for. He also got another DX Battle Pack in Series 58 and an Elite Ghostbusters figure. Lastly, he got a Retro Series 7 figure. Finally on to 2020, and he got a Hero Collector Basic figure, a Mania 37 Elite figure, and a Series 4 Ultimate figure. Both of which are huge ones for me, even if the Ultimate heads aren't great. Now to finish, as always I will go through figures which I am unaware of the year of release or the series they were part of. He had 4 Ringside Exclusive Classic Superstars figures from Jax, a DX 2-pack, a Hulk Hogan 2-pack, a Razor Ramon Ladder Match 2-pack, a Deluxe Undertaker Heaven in Hell 2-pack, and also a WWE Shop Zone exclusive Classic Superstars 2-pack with Stone Cold. He also had a Flexum in Series 12, which I believe is this, but I'm not 100% sure on that. He got a Basic in a Multi-Pack Fan Favorites Toys R Us set, a Ruthless Aggression WrestleMania 21 2-pack with Kurt Angle, and a Superstars Grudge Match 2-pack with Vader. He also has a Ringside Exclusive DX Elite, a Hall of Champions 2-pack with Bret Hart, two Flex Force figures, and an Elite Legends 2-pack of the Rockers, and he also had this Raw Superstars box set alongside Ric Flair, Carlito, and Chris Masters. All of these are Titantron Lifestyle figures. The list had this, but it said it was 1999, which literally is not possible because Carlito debuted in I believe 2004 and Chris Masters I believe was 2005 so my best guess would be that this is a 2005 or a 2006 release but I truly do not know. Phew! That was a tough job. Over 140 figures were covered in this video and no doubt I still missed some. Shawn Michaels has had some awesome figures over the years and the sheer number of them is fitting for the legendary career he had. I hope you enjoyed this look at the history of Shawn Michaels action figures and if you did it would mean a lot if you could leave a like, let me know what your favourite Michaels figure is in the comments and if you have anyone who may care for this video, give it a share. Thank you for watching, bye bye.